Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And if your FC26 is crashing, you're facing RAM issues, VRAM issues, GPU issues, or any other black screen issues, this guide is going to be helping you to fix that. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Okay, step number one is clearing the GPU shader cache files. This is a leading cause of black screen issues and stuttering. And for that, press the Windows key and then type in a disk cleanup. Open it up and select your local disk C, click on OK. And then you wanna have to make sure to select the DX shader cache file, which should be over here. Click on OK and then delete files. Let it do the job. And once that's done, simply close it. Before moving ahead, if you are trying to become a content creator but cannot afford to record 4K gameplay or 240 hertz gameplay on a low end pc worry not because i bring you wondershare unique converter which is a one-stop shop solution for all of your content needs you can download it for absolutely free from the link in the description below unique converter is an ai powered all-in-one tool which offers multiple features like screen recording subtitle editing video enhancing video editor image enhancer and a lot more you can upscale or enhance your videos using the ai video enhancer simply select that and drag and drop your footage in. It's that simple. Then you can choose among the AI model. You can select quality restoration or any other thing. I'll go with frame interpolation and select 4x which makes my gameplay 120 fps over here. Simply click on export all and then click on confirm. It supports bulk files too and the best part is all of that is just one click away. Your video will be exported in no time and you can simply click on open file location to go and check it out. Here is the 120hz video. Coming up here. It looks absolutely lifelike. Wondershare Uni Converter has tons of features which you guys can explore yourself by simply going down to the link in the description below and downloading it for free. So make sure to go check out Wondershare Uni Converter from the link in the description below. Next step is setting up your virtual memory. This will help you to fix RAM issues on your PC. For that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and open it up. Head over to the advanced tab and then for the virtual memory, click on the change button. Deselect automatically manage paging file size and then you wanna have to click on custom size for your local disk C. Open up your calculator over here as well now for the initial size you have to select a little bit over 1024 megabytes that is actually 1 gb i have set this into 1361 you guys can follow the same now for the maximum size you have to open up system information and look at your installed physical memory that is 32 gb for me what you have to do is divide 32 by 2 and you should get half of your memory this is in gigabytes to change it in megabytes, multiply it with 1024 and the new value that you get over here should be pasted under the maximum size. Once that is done, simply close it, set and then click on OK and simply close this one. It will help you to fix all of your RAM related issues. Next step is disabling prefetch or sysmain and for that you have to press your windows key and then type in services over here. Open it up, click on any service and press S on your keyboard. Scroll down and you have to find sysmain which should be right over here. Double click to open this service and make sure that the startup type is set to disable. If the service is already running on your PC, make sure to click on the stop button. This main is actually not really useful on a day-to-day -day basis. However, it might consume your CPU resources in the background. This may lead to micro stuttering and disabling that might help you to fix that. Next step is defragging and optimizing your disk drive. For that, simply search for disk defragment over here and select defragment and optimize drives. Then select your local disk C and also the drive that you have saved your game on. For me, I'll select the local disk C and if this is a solid state drive simply click on optimize and let it run this will help you to trim your ssd and optimize the performance then you have to select the drive in which you have installed your game go to steam right click on your game head over to manage and then click on browse local files this will take you to the installation directory of your game for me, it is under the X. So I have to select my disk X over here, which is SATA SSD and it is an SSD. So I have to simply click on the optimize button again. If this is a hard disk drive, click on analyze and then let it run. And after that, you have to click on optimize and it will defrag the drive. This will help you to optimize your disk drive to help improve the performance. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues and latency using Gear Booster. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Gear Booster acts as a VPN that connects your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance, giving you the lowest ping, jitter, 
and packet loss. Simply download this for free. And once you open up Gear Booster, you will see a dashboard like this. It offers you more than 500 games to choose from. Simply search for FC26 over here and then select it. Gear Booster is available for all platforms like PlayStation, Xbox, Steam Deck, and Nintendo Switch as well. Select the game and let it run. You can simply select your game region over here. I'll be selecting Middle East and I'll leave it to Auto because it will automatically select which server will be giving me the lowest ping. Simply click Auto. Once you've selected that, simply click on the Boost button and it will help you to connect your game straight to the game servers without any hindrance in just one single click. You can also click on the burger icon and then click on the settings button over here. Head over to optimization settings and click on optimize RAM after boosting and this will help you to also free up your RAM for the games once you are boosting it. Once again, Gear Booster is available on all kind of devices that you can imagine and it is trusted by gamers worldwide. I have left a free download link to Gear Booster right in the description below. Make sure to go and check it out. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and after that you have to select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it FC26 so you can remember it and I would highly recommend you guys not to skip this one because it is really essential if you want to revert all of your settings back to normal which we're gonna be doing now okay the next step is fc26 error fix back i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys will find in five very useful folders over here which are really essential to optimize your visual c runtimes update your directx drivers clean your pc's cache optimize your game priority and some batch tweaks let us start with the first one that is visual c runtime over here i have left all of the latest vc latest files over here and to install all of them together simply double click and run the install all dot bat this will help you to install all of these runtime files which are really essential to run your games these could lead to micro stuttering game crashing unexpected errors so running them would fix it. Second is update DirectX and this is a DirectX setup. It will help you to install that on your PC. It is directly linked with your graphic drivers and help you to render the game. If you're facing any kind of VRAM related issues, this would be a possible fix to that. Third one is clean cache tool in which I have left clean temporary files. You wanna have to right click and then run it as administrator. Over here, you have to press enter and it will delete all temporary files off of your PC, which is really essential to do every now and then. Once that is done, simply close it. Fourth folder is the FC26 priority in which you have to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. This will help you to optimize the performance of your game. Fifth one is batch tweaks in which I have left to disable memory compression. Memory compression is a service which runs in the background and it consumes up to 16% of your RAM resources. Simply right click and run this as administrator and if you see the notepad it runs this PowerShell command over here to disable that service. This will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. But in any case, if you want to revert this back, simply change this disable to enable and run it again as an administrator to enable your memory compression again. Similarly is process mitigation. It helps you to optimize the performance of your CPU. What you have to do is simply right click and run this as administrator. And once that is done, you guys can simply close the error fix back. If all of that still doesn't help you to fix your issues, a possible fix could be running CMD as administrator. And once you're here, you have to run three set of commands first one is this one that is sfc space slash scan now simply run it on your pc this will begin a system scan and it will find any corrupted partition if any of that is found it will automatically fix that this will lead to performance improvement on your pc and if any corrupted partition of windows might be a leading cause of your crashes or any issues that might be fixed the second command is this one that is dism space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash scan help this will help you to run a scan of your system and all of the other windows partition it will scan your health and once you are done applying that you have to just change the scan health and type in restore health over here and this will help you to optimize your system as well run these three commands on your pc and then do a system restart once you have restarted your pc i would recommend you guys to go and check out your gpu drivers for that open up nvidia app or you guys can go to your amd radeon software simply head over to the drivers tab if you find it and look for the latest version of your gpu drivers if you haven't installed that already make sure to do that because all of the new drivers includes support for new 
new games and since FC26 is recently released high chances are that your drivers might not be updated and that might be the leading cause of your issues so simply go ahead and do that also here is a bonus tip for you guys i have read on online forums that if you head over to the nvidia app and go on to the graphics tab and launch your game from there click on the play button it will not lead to any performance issues apparently it worked for many people but not worked for me so you guys can go and check it out let me know in the comments if that works for you similar for the amd graphic card users or the intel users launch the game from the graphics card software and that might lead to performance improvements so that is it for this video guys i hope this video might have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers i am really aiming to achieve that as soon as possible and with your support i definitely can also make sure to do check out channel membership as it supports me and i'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out